first, uh, a whole high school in New York is having remote classes today because the building was needed to house people who came into this country. Good for you, man. Ever, ever, ever. Legally, so what is the president's priority in this case? Is it the migrants or is it the students? So let me just uh, just clear this up a little bit. Um, so yesterday, New York City informed us that as a precaution, as a precaution, uh, they would temporarily relocate migrants. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Staying at Floyd Bennett Field to a nearby high school. As of this morning, all migrants have returned. What a idiot! To the facility at Floyd Bennett Field. And so anything specific as to the program and what decided to do and all of the specifics to that, I would certainly refer you to New York City uh, for any additional questions. The hell is that shit? He never, ever, 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 he ever must. But if a working parent had to call out to stay home with their kid today, isn't this Biden immigration policy literally taking money out of people's pockets? <laughs> oh! Great, Odin's Raven. Just say, I'm going to actually go back to your first question for a second because I think I do need to address that, which is, um, you know, when it comes to education, migrants. I can't, I can't, I can't say that word. Migrants, the economy, the president deals with multiple issues all at once. That is his job. There are multiple things happening all at once, and as it relates to this particular question, did you forget what you wanted to say? Question that you're asking me about New York City. That is something that New York City needs to answers to. That is a that is a process that they took, so they have to answer to that. Uh, and a, as it relates to migrants and what's happening at the border, look, the president has taken this issue very seriously. No, what? You're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. 